Hello and welcome to this tutorial video which will take you through the log frame tab of the One GMS project proposal form. This tab allows you to indicate all projects outcomes, outputs, indicators and activities per sector. If the project includes cash and voucher assistance, please do not select the standard cash indicators and related activities here but from the cash tab. Cash indicators and activities saved in the cash tab will be automatically reflected in the log frame tab. To fill in the log frame tab, start by indicating in this section the objective of your project. Then click here to unfold the logical framework per sector section. Select the cluster objective, its linked HRP and indicate the percentage of activity that contributes to the sector objective. Cluster objective percentage of activities must total up to 100%. You can click here to add a new sector objective. Then briefly explain how your project will contribute to the selected sector objective. You can now add at least, one outcome, outcome indicator, output, activity, and standard output indicator. Click here to add an outcome. Once your outcome is added, you can click here to add an outcome indicator. On the pop-up window you can choose to either add a standard or a custom indicator. To add a standard outcome indicator, select the indicator from the drop-down list. You may then add the indicator's total target value. According to your indicator, this value could be a percentage or a breakdown by age and gender. Finally, you have the possibility to explain how you will verify if your target has been reached and leave a comment before saving your standard outcome indicator. If you are adding a custom indicator, describe your indicator and select its unit. You may then add the indicator's total target value. According to your indicator's unit, this can be a percentage or a breakdown by age and gender. Finally, you have the possibility to explain how you will verify if your target has been reached and leave a comment before saving your custom outcome indicator. Now that your outcome indicator is added below your outcome, you can click here to add an output. Then click here to add at least one standard output indicator and at least one custom indicator if needed. To add a standard output indicator, select the indicator from the drop down list. You may then add the indicator's total target value. According to your indicator, this can be a percentage or a breakdown by age and gender. Finally, you have the possibility to explain how you will verify if your target has been reached and leave a comment before saving your standard output indicator. If you are adding a custom indicator, describe your indicator and select its unit. You may then add the indicator's total target value. According to your indicator's unit, this can be a percentage or a breakdown by age and gender. Finally, you have the possibility to explain how you will verify if your target has been reached and leave a comment before saving your custom output indicator. The last step of this tab, is to add at least one activity. To do so, click here. Once you have completed this tab, do not forget to save your data, as the system will not automatically save it. This is the end of our tutorial video on how to fill the log frame tab of the One GMS. If you have any question or comment, don't hesitate to contact us.